And this video is going to be about toilets and how they flush. I'm going to flush this toilet. You're going to notice there's not really a lot of water that uh, filled up the toilet bowl. There are, I'm going to wait for the water to shut off, but there are water holes that are around the rim of the toilet. And get a mirror here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's the mirror. And you can see that's a perfect example. Those water holes over there, you see they're all dirty and brown. These water holes get clogged up with sediment and lime. You can see the dirt over there. That's not just dirt, that's that's sediment, lime that's in the holes. Um, let me try to get a better angle. And these holes get clogged up. Yeah, this is a really good example now. These holes get clogged up with a lot of dirt and they stop the toilet bowl from flushing properly. Obviously that's some dirt up there, but they stop the uh, they stop the bowl from getting the proper amount of water. And the only way to clean this thing out, some people use a hanger, you can use an awl, I'm going to be using an awl, A-W-L. You want to use a pointed object like cut off the tip of a metal hanger, and then you want to insert this thing into the hole. It's going to be very difficult to show you that with, uh, without using a tripod. But you want to insert this tool into the hole, and you want to be careful. You don't want to jam this thing in there and have it break through the toilet and crack it and cause yourself a lot of problems. So let me go clean these holes out. Some people want to wear gloves so they don't get uh, germs or disease or poop on their hands, and other people, you know, you just go in there and you do your cleaning. As long as you don't have open cuts or sores, you're good. Clean out those holes, wring them out. Try to get out as much sediment as you can. I'm going to try to clean some out and see if I can get some sediment in the toilet bowl so you can see what I was talking about. All right, the tool that I wanted to use really was not going to work because it was too big and banging into the toilet. So I'm going to be using a hanger. Here you can see I've got a piece of the hanger that I broke off. It's a little hot from bending it back and forth. And I'm just taking the... Uh, tip and I'm reaching around. I'm going to use the mirror after I turn off this video, but I'm just putting the tip in there and trying to clean out all the holes to make sure that there's no sediment in there. That is how you clean the water holes on a toilet. Uh, some people say you can use mur murat muratic, I think that's murat, mur yeah, muratic acid that you use on a pool. Um, you put it in the tank in the uh, drain hole and you let it run down here. You know, when you've got to use a mask and protective breathing gear to clean a toilet, something's wrong. So use a hanger, avoid chemicals if you can. And this is how you clean out a, uh, the water holes on a toilet so that it will flush better. Good luck! All right, I got all the uh, water hose cleaned. And so I want to show you one other thing, which is pretty awesome. Look at this toilet bowl ring. See that nice dark ring in there? I think you can see that. Nice water ring. Most stuff, most cleansers will not take it out. They'll do a lot of damage to the toilet if they will, or if they do. So I want to show you this incredibly awesome thing you can buy. You can buy this down at Home Depot. Home Depot sells it. Not all stores sell it, but you can uh, find it in the store. Most stores, Barkeeper's Friend. Barkeeper's Friend is this really cool cleanser that is, for the most part, non-abrasive. You see this nice water ring over here. There's a water ring all the way around. I'm going to take some of this stuff, get the sponge wet that I just dried off, and take some of this cleanser. Put it on the sponge and usually you want to spend a little time rubbing this stuff in there. Um, it's fairly remarkable with what it does. Let me try to turn the camera to give you a better position. Alright, sorry, I had to wash my hands before I touch the camera. Okay, so you can see the water line over there, and I've got this cleanser on there now. 
and I'm just going to do a little bit of scrubbing. Just scrubbing for about, what, uh, 20 seconds. Um, just a little bit of the abrasive part of the scotch sponge over here. This stuff's been on here. This water line hasn't been cleaned in months. So just a little bit of the cleanser. And I can already see the water line going away. I'm going to keep the video running. I know it's going to be a long video, but some people think that you make videos and you're trying to trick them into a product that really doesn't work. So, um, let me zoom on in here. You can still see the water line over there, but it's, it's starting to fade. It's faded. It's faded over here. It's still there, but I'm going to sh shut off the camera and I'm going to do probably like three or four minutes of scrubbing and then I'll come back and we'll see what the results are. Um, they're usually really good. I do this on my toilet and it cleans it perfectly every time. Usually within about a minute or two. Um, this is taking a while longer to do, but I'm going to keep working in it. Okay, and that's the final result. Yes, there is still a line over there. The sediment's gone. CLR would not remove that. Um, you can see most of the uh, the water line in the front. You can, you can see it a little bit, but uh, that's mostly a stain, and it's not going to go away. That's where the porcelain coating's kind of messed up from the water line, from the hard water in Los Angeles. But as far as uh, sediment or calcium buildup, all of that's gone, and that was because of the barkeeper's friend. So it's a very good thing to use to clean toilets. Most of the time it will completely remove the stain. Um, in this case it didn't, but it's still an incredible product. It only costs a couple bucks and it's awesome.